Welcome back to the Essex Rotary Channel guys. In this week's video, we're gonna show you how to turn this reversing light into a fog light for UK roads. So guys, we've got a quick video for you this week. Um, this one's basically to help all those people out with their old FBs that hate them unsightly fog lamps that were fitted at the dealer back when these um, most of these cars were shipped from Japan, I suppose, when they made it at the docks this end. Mazda actually put a wire in the boat up here. Um, they actually stuck a wire um, for the fog lamp inside. Um, and we're gonna show you how to take that wire and basically turn this into a legal fog lamp. Um, for that, we're gonna have to go in the boat um, and we'll show you what's what. So excuse me, wobble cam guys, um, we're in the boot of the FB. Um, basically what you're looking at here is the rear light, excuse that one. Here's the rear light assembly on the rear right hand side. Um, this is the, just there, this is the reversing light which we're going to convert over to a fog lamp, pretty simply. Um, just up here, basically, this cheeky wire here, um, the light isn't really doing any favours, neither is my shadows. But this is a blue wire with a green trace. Um, we've had to repair it. Um, but basically that wire, in, there you go, you can see it now. That wire is the power feed from the fog light switch on the steering column. So if we hook that wire up to a fog light source and ground the other end, um, essentially we've got a fog lamp. Now normally um, these are spliced in or most dealers put long old wires in from the, the switch, but there's no need. What we're actually going to do is we're going to take this feed, we're going to disconnect this plug, and then we're going to repin, we're going to make a jumper wire which goes from this feed into this plug and then repin that to essentially work that fog lamp. Then all we need to do is chuck a red bulb in it and we're good to go. So we're going to get that done and then we'll be back. Okay, so we've removed the cage off of the light, as you see in the previous shot. All we need to do, disconnect this. There's no retaining clip, just give it a quick wobble. Don't normally pull from the wires that connect you guys. Um, and there, we just need to deep in one of the wires. So um, let's get on with that. So we've got the jumper wire that we've made up. Um, it's got a female connector one end. This is gonna go into the terminal and then a male connector the other. We have put a slight kink in the actual spade connector. This is just to ensure a good seat because we haven't got the correct connector to actually um, mate up with the factory one at the moment. Um, this should stay in. We'll put a little bit of tape in it just to make sure. Um, but yeah, that should be fine um, for the customer. So we're gonna go ahead, um, we're gonna get the connector deep end and then um, get this installed. It is worth noting guys, all you will need, I mean, we've got a proper deep end tool here. Um, but all you'll need is just like a flat blade, really thin bladed screwdriver. You'll see what we're talking about in a second. Okay, so here's the harness. What we're going to do is this side is the back, there's two steps on the side of the plug. This is the back side of the plug. So when it's in the car, it would actually be installed that way. So we're gonna take this central wire out of the middle of the harness or out of the middle of the plug. This, on this particular car, is red with a white tracer stripe. Take the flat bladed deep in tool and drop it, just push it into the slot. And just pull, there we go, just pull your connector out. That will need ice insulating or isolating with some heat shrink just to make sure that that doesn't actually short out. And then all we're gonna do, we're gonna take our new connector making sure that it's orientated correctly. So the um, rolled size, sides face the outside. Push it in until you hear this snap. Once that's in, we're gonna tie that back up to the harness. Um, connect the other end, inch like this. Should be good. Okay, we've got a little bit of heat shrink. Slide it over the terminal or the obsolete terminal. Shrink that down. Not our normal choice of heat gun. Um, these little Ryby ones are actually pretty good for quick jobs, so if you happen to run the wire out. Squeeze that end. Okay, 
and go in nice and sealed. Next, we'll tie that back and then just take the harness back. Okay, with the wire all tied up, um, we need to reinstall the cage, but we also need to change the fog lamp um, or the reverse light, this one here, um, for a fog lamp bulb. I don't have one of those at the minute and we are waiting for it to arrive. Thank you, um, Mexican beer virus. Um, but yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this in. There we go. Right, push that down. That's all hooked up. Um, then all left is to try it. To the back. So there we go, guys. A nice, quick, easy way of turning your right-hand side, obviously in the UK, um, reverse light into a fog lamp. It is worth noting um, at the minute with the current MOT laws, this, the spacing between this and the various other lights where it's meant to be is legal. Hence why um, we've done it on a few customers' cars and got rid of those unsightly pieces of crap. Man, I hate these things. <laughs> that live under your bumper. With that all said, guys, um, thank you very much for watching. I know it's a um, quick video. We've had some pretty long ones recently. If you like the video, um, please give it a thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe button. Um, don't forget to catch us on social media at Essex Rotary Specialists on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, which is at Essex Rotary. You'll find our online store at EssexRotaryStore.com and our main website at EssexRotary.co.uk. Um, with that all said, please stay safe, guys, and we'll catch you in the next episode. But yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this in, plug this back into where it come from, fiddle fiddle. Could I make that any look any more difficult? There we go, nope. There we go, right.